tonight. It's RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 8. The queens are tasked to design outfits inspired by fabrics of legendary winning queens. It's fashion. <laughs> Chanel and Raven make a stop at the workroom. Gaga Chandra. And the shady dealings of Alexis Michelle. This is Reality Reflex. Before we begin, make sure that you like and subscribe so you can get all of the Drag Race and Reality TV content. Hey everyone, it's Tedley here, and going into tonight, the queens were tasked to a design challenge inspired by previous winning queens. Stunning! As the winner of last week's challenge, Lala Ree gets to choose which queen is paired with which winning icon diva. It was time for the workroom walkthrough, and this time it wasn't RuPaul, but the legendary queens from season one and two, Chanel and Raven. Chanel and Raven. I'm so happy Chanel is getting the recognition she deserves. Really loving the OGs Chanel and Raven being there coaching the gals. Chanel and Raven look so good. Yes, bitch, work. And then it was time for the runway. As usual, we're gonna celebrate the toots and the shoots and we are just gonna skip the boots. All right, so we have Jimbo coming out looking like an absolute icon. Head to toe, this garment is fabulous. It looks polished, it looks well crafted. The face is completely covered with a silly smiley face, which is done iconically and epically. This look just from head to toe looks amazingly well done, like she could have brought this from home and was presenting this on the runway. Of course, it does have signature Trixie colors, but Jimbo has created this in a way that is only her. Alexis Michelle comes out looking like the only showgirl diva. The silhouette is absolutely perfect. Visually just looks stunning. Perfect color, beautiful. The belt is perfect. The headpiece is perfect. She literally crafted just a fabulous, elegant gown for this runway. The fans online agreed that Jimbo was slaying this epic runway. Every week I'm more amazed and y'all have no idea. This was so innovative, so creative, so fashionable, and so Jimbo. Jimbo had a battle against time and still tore this up. They eat her up every single time. Alexis Michelle was in the top and the bottom two was Candy Muse and La La Ree. Not this. Alexis' decision was to eliminate La La Ree. Wait, what the fuck is this elimination? I'm so mad. Oh hell no, La La Ree deserved to stay. Not La La Ree being sent home on another sewing challenge. Shay! This decision was very controversial online as just last week, Alexis Michelle was saved by La La Ree herself. Ooh, I would have been heated if I was La La. This elimination was evil. Please respect my privacy as I take time to process this. Alexis is something else, I'll just say that. Alexis Michelle, I am so eternally grateful for you, Lala. I will never forget this. If you ever need anything, let me know. A chat, some money, a kidney, anything and above, I'll do it. You are my hero, my sister, my everything. I love you. Also, Alexis, Lala. Alexis before choosing the lipstick. Act the fool, girl. Alexis Michelle took to the internet to defend herself as well. It was an impossible choice, a lose-lose situation. Two incredible queens who I admire, love, and respect. I made a choice. After sleeping on it, I wished I could have done differently. I'm sorry for disappointing you. People make mistakes. I own this one. No edit, just me. Damn bitch, fuck my drag. Well, did you not or did you not come for me today? Well, all right, everybody. So here goes another messy week of this season of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars 8. I will see you guys next time for even more reality drama. This is Reality Reflex.